Hi, boys and girls. I am Mrs. Caverly, and I didn't get to see you too much before we um, went to distance learning. But I am your technology teacher, if you um, don't remember me. And one of my jobs is to help you use technology to be respectful and responsibly and to help you with learning. Today, I want to talk to you about balancing your technology. Sometimes when you're on the playground, you might sit on a seesaw and you might try to balance like these cartoon friends did. So today we're going to talk about balancing our use of technology and how to be healthy with it. So the question is, how do we find a happy balance between our online, that means when we're using technology, and our offline activities? So have you ever felt, have you ever had the feeling that you've spent maybe too much time using a device like a tablet or a phone or a computer? I know sometimes I have and maybe sometimes you have too. Um, so we don't want to get to using it too much. We want to find a balance where we balance our fun time on the computer and our fun time off the computer. We balance our time with our family and our friends as well. So what we want to do is we're going to watch this little video about how balance is important. Balance is important for me and you and you. Balance helps us stand up straight and keeps us in our shoes. Sometimes with technology, balancing's hard to do. Yes, balance is important for me and you and you. So gather and hear a song to learn these words are true. When you look up from your screen when a friend says hi, share your to try. Play outside when the sun is bright. Devices go off when you say goodnight. It makes your whole self happy when you're balancing just right. Balance is important for me and you and you. Your heart, your head, your arms and your legs need that balance too. Too much of something can make you mad or blue. So trust your gut to get on your feet. There's so much that you can do. When you ask before you take a phone, invite a friend if they're all alone. Stick to sides you know online. Go outside when the weather is fine. It makes your whole self happy when you're balancing just try. Media balance isn't easy, you know that this is true. Just think about this balance song, it'll help you through. Well, that was a great video um, that was fun and also got us thinking about some good things we can do with technology. Some of the things I learned from that video is always to ask before you take a phone. Um, share, make sure you're sharing your computers or your devices. And, oh yeah, turn them off. Maybe you remember that one. Do you remember turn them off before you go to bed at night? And get outside and play and have some fun. There's more things than just um, using your computer. In fact, maybe you have been going to our distance learning page. Maybe you have found my web page by typing in Mrs. Caverly's. Um, if you just type in Mrs. Caverly, I bet you can find it. And then you go to distance learning. And then boys and girls, maybe you've been clicking on some of these different links. And on your fun Fridays, you can do some art, you can do some music, you can get up and move with physical education or gym activities. And then you can also find some more cool websites when you're using your um, technology in balance with everything else in your life. You can find some cool websites on Mrs. Caverly's um, choice board here. Last time, I think I told you about Typetastic, this um, keyboarding program. So boys and girls, make sure you're using your technology responsibly, respectfully, that means being nice on your technology, and um, using it to maximize your learning to get the best learning you can, but also make sure you're doing it in balance and going outside and having some fun and doing other activities as well. I'll see you next time, boys and girls.